VMath Live provides a stimulating online learning environment for students that fully engages them as they learn and practice math concepts and skills. Students in grades 2 through 8 gain confidence in their math abilities and continuously improve their skills as they participate in live competitions of mental math skills with students across the country. VMath Live is an online program that students can access anywhere, anytime. Even on the go, students can experience VMath Live on an iPad or tablet. Starting with the VMath Live login page, notice the logo, Learn, Play, Master. This reflects exactly what a student does throughout the program. Notice the design, Math Unfolded. Students are represented in the program by origami avatars. The origami models are age-appropriate for students in grades 2 through 8 and offer a rich visual experience. The origami avatars near the bottom of the screen represent the math students of the week, chosen at random from the students currently logged in. Students can personalize their avatars in different ways, such as changing the color and design as part of the program's reward system. The login page features the main leaderboard, which lists the top 100 students earning the most points each week. The list can be sorted by grade, state, or both. Once students log in, they can access additional leaderboards that show how they rank within their school or district. Teachers, school administrators, and parents can subscribe to alerts that notify them if their students are on the main leaderboard. The top of the login page shows the number of students enrolled in VMath Live, the total number of problems solved, and the total number of math students online at that moment. To get started, Students log into the program with the username and password provided by the system when they are enrolled. The first time a student logs in, he or she will watch a short video that introduces VMath Live. Once the video is done, the student clicks to reveal three important concepts that he or she learned about VMath Live. The student then receives a token and a badge for watching the video. With the token, the student can play a game for the first time. The badge signifies the student's effort in completing their first task of watching the video. The first time the student logs back in after the introductory session, a welcome back page shows his or her progress through the program up to that point. Let's follow Marcus, a student who is working in Module 5 through his experience. You can see that Marcus has completed 3 out of 11 activities in Module 5, or 27% of the module. To help pace Marcus and provide him with incentives to get more points, the screen shows the number of games played, total minutes in the program, and the number of problems solved. Let's look over the student home base, which is also the VMath Live homepage. Here, students work sequentially through a series of modules representing a year's worth of math via a structured learning path. Students are encouraged to stay on track with messaging, badges, trophies, points, and other engagement strategies. Here, Marcus is working in Module 5, Number, Theory, and Fractions. The numbered bar with the two trophies indicates that Marcus has mastered the first two activities in Learn and is ready to move on to the third activity, What Fraction is Shaded? In the Learn component, students work on activities with algorithmically generated questions specific to each of the 334 math topics for grades 2 through 8. In the play component, students have fun competing against other students or against the computer to strengthen math fact fluency and mental math skills. The avatar that represents Marcus in Module 5 is shown. As Marcus masters each module, a new avatar is unlocked that will represent him in the next module. As students complete Learn activities, they earn tokens. Tokens are awarded for effort. One token is given for every 10 questions attempted in Learn. Students spend tokens in play, competing against other students or the computer. The token economy is designed so that students spend about 60% of their time in Learn and 40% of their time in play. Points are awarded for correct answers. Students earn points in Learn activities for taking the module test and for mastering an entire module. Points are reset on a weekly basis. Clicking on the leaderboard tab allows students to see their rank in points against other students nationally. 
Badges are presented for certain student milestones, for time spent in the program, and for encouragement. The most recently earned badges show up on the home page. The progress graph gives students a snapshot of the number of minutes spent and learn and in play for the current week and for the three prior weeks. In each learn activity, the student strives to correctly answer randomly generated questions about that particular math skill. The first two questions are warm-ups that capture a student's prior knowledge. When combined with warm-ups from all activities in a module, these questions represent a pretest of module skills. This is compared to the module test results to demonstrate growth. For each question answered correctly, the student receives 10 points. To master an activity, the program follows the streak model, in which the student must complete 8, 9, or 10 correct answers in a row. The student's avatar marks the student's streak of correct answers. In the streak model, as soon as a student answers a problem incorrectly, his or her streak is reset. Alternatively, a teacher can configure the program using the percentage model so that a student needs to answer at least eight questions correctly out of ten, but not necessarily in a row. VMath Live's learning pedagogy offers students scaffolded help with three levels of support. First, step-by-step -step hints are provided that scaffold instruction for a specific problem. The student can use the hints to enter the correct answer, but notice that if he or she uses a hint, the streak has been reset and the student will start over. This format is to encourage students to not become dependent on using hints. The second type of support is available by clicking the Let's Review button. Here, the student receives guided instruction or tutoring on a related problem through background concept development and built-in error analysis. Visual representations for concept development are part of each tutorial. The audio for Let's Review is available in English and Spanish. The third and final level of support, VMath Live intervenes with one or two prerequisite skill activities for the student. After completing the pre-skill activities, the student is returned to the activity he or she had been struggling with, but with more in-depth preparation for success. It is important to note that teachers can monitor student progress through the Learn Activities from a convenient dashboard. The teacher dashboard is designed to provide an at-a-glance look at their classes and students. Additionally, if a student is struggling and has been given a pre-skill activity, the teacher receives both an alert and a reteach lesson with instructions on how to intervene with the student one-on-one. -on -one. After mastering all activities in a module, students must pass a module test to advance to the next one. Teachers can assign the module test at any time, and students who pass the teacher-assigned test may advance to the next module even if they have not completed all of the module's activities. The module test consists of 20 randomly generated questions similar to questions in the module's activities. Students pass the module test by scoring 80% or higher. Students can click Review Test to see each test question and review the problem, their answer, and the correct answer. Students also have the option to retake the module test to improve their scores. When students pass the module test, they will have officially completed the module. In recognition, they will receive a new avatar, bonus points, and a certificate that can be printed. Anytime students receive a new origami avatar, they have the opportunity to print out folding instructions and create a physical replica of their avatar. After completing a learn portion of VMath Live, it is time to play. Here, students are challenged at appropriate skill levels as they compete in games of math fact fluency and mental math skills. Remember, a student must have a token, which they earned and learn, to play a game. There are three game modes, play against others, play against the computer, and challenge a friend. In play versus others, students are matched against one, two, or three students of the same ability level. In play, the avatar continues to represent the student as he or she competes in mental math competitions. However, before each game starts, 
the avatar actually transforms into its battle-ready form for competition. There are four mental math games per level and five levels for a total of 20 games. These games are based on the Common Core State Standards that reference mental math practice and fluency. Students advance in skill levels as in a typical video game model. Within a level, games are served up randomly by the system. Each game lasts for 60 seconds. Students answer as many mental math problems correctly as they can. And the player with the most correct answers at the end of the game wins. Students can review the answers for any problems they missed during the game. The goals for students are to beat their opponents, earn points to advance on the leaderboard, master their current level, then advance to the next level. Students are expected to master one or more play levels during a school year. Math Mania events are special competitions of mental math skills. Two national Math Mania events will be facilitated by Voyager Learning staff. In Math Mania events, students compete in play mode to answer the most correct questions in a certain amount of time. Students who are already enrolled in VMath Live will play at their current level. Students new to VMath Live will compete at a level based on their grade. Let's take a look at additional resources available to students. The Animated Glossary is a list of approximately 400 common math vocabulary terms. Students can select a term alphabetically or by typing it, then read and hear the term with its definition and see an animated visual representation. Students can choose to read and hear the terms and definitions in English or Spanish. Students can also see a list of related terms linked to definitions. The animated glossary can be accessed whenever students need help. Students can access the My Progress page at any time. It offers a detailed snapshot of how a student is doing and includes three tabs, Learn, Play, and Time. All pages can be printed. On the Learn tab of My Progress, there's a row for each module. Each row shows the student's trophies, representing mastery of each activity, plus the number of weeks it took to complete the module, the total time spent on the module, the number of problems solved, the total points for the module, and the score on the module test. There is also a tab with information about play and a tab that gives details about the time that the student has spent in the program. Sometimes a teacher may ask the student to do an activity out of sequence through the student's home page. The course map allows the student to access any activity in any module for the particular course in which the student is enrolled. The course map visually indicates students' progress through the course. Here you can see Marcus's progress through Module 5, Number, Theory, and Fractions. Students who complete all modules in a course will be able to continue with additional modules at a higher grade level until the end of the school year. Clicking on a module allows the student to see the full titles of the activities in the module. Students can see their mastery level for each activity completed and their score on the module test. It's important to note that VMath and TransMath students are enrolled in the courses aligned with the VMath modules and the TransMath units, respectively. Other students are enrolled in courses that align with their state standards or with the Common Core state standards. The Achievements page allows students to bask in the glory of their VMath Live accomplishments. Here, a student can see a display of his or her badges earned, certificates awarded, and the avatars collected by completing modules. That concludes our walkthrough of VMath Live.